Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, our Lord, God, and Savior. Alexa Demi is a music artist. She's darkening one of her eyes utterly with a tarot card, doing the Eye of Horus, one eye symbolism. The Eye of Horus also involves the pineal gland, the third eye, which a lot of these people seem to have awakened, quote-unquote, it's a false awakening. When you're awake, God slaps you awake. God shows you the truth. And for me in my life, I had the fear of God in my life. I still have it, but it hit me years ago because I realized that I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. The world is biblical. We've been lied to about basically everything. The Bible is true. Man and the world are not true. So Alexa Demi, the famous music artist, I've never heard of her before, but I guess she's famous, and she's an actress. Everyone's just famous nowadays, hey? It doesn't matter. Just, they get pushed and promoted by the beast system. She's doing one-eye symbolism, the Eye of Horus, and she's using a tarot card, something no one should be involved in, especially Christians. She's doing the slam dunk version of the Eye of Horus, one-eye symbolism, She's covering half her face, darkening one eye utterly, the eye of Horus. Horus is just another name for Satan. All those false Egyptian sun gods that the Freemasons love so much, it's just part of the beast system, whether they are principalities or demons or just non-existent in, in like folklore. I am not 100% sure. It's very confusing at times. You know what's simple? The gospel. Jesus Christ, Lord God and Savior of the entire world. Fully man, fully God, came to earth, born of a virgin, lived a perfect sinless life, went to the cross, shed his precious blood, died, and was buried. Three days later, he resurrected, believing in his finished work. He said, I, I'm not going to pronounce this properly, but tell telestai, I'm, I'm probably mispronouncing that, and I'm sorry, but it just means it is finished. Jesus said it is finished. Why did he say that? No more need for sacrificing animals like in the Old Testament. No more need for anything but having faith in Jesus Christ. And we should repent. And I know there's some brothers and sisters that say, but that's works-based something. And a lot of people say, no, repentance just means metanoia, changing of your mind. I believe it's a little combination of both. God does not want us to stay in sin. Go and sin no more. But we are not saved by our good works. Once we have faith in the finished work of Jesus, once we are born again, there's like... For, there's a lot of false converts in Christianity. There's a lot of false prophets and false apostles. The NAR movement, the New Apostolic Reformation, it is full of charismatic weirdos that claim this, that, and the other, and they're prophets and apostles. They're giving themselves those titles, or like a sinner is giving them those titles, right? What, like, it's insane. In a lot of ways, I'm still a baby Christian, but in a lot of ways, I've learned a lot over the years about deception. And I want to point it out, reprove it. There's some people that literally tell me to shut up and not talk about these things. Literally, God tells Christians to not take part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them, or in another word, expose them. Alexa Demi is doing the eye of Horus here. Why is she doing that? More one-eye symbolism here. She's hanging out on the Freemason checkerboard duality. You can be good, you can be bad. It all balances out, right? More checkerboard, Freemason checkerboard. She's hanging out with some famous people. This person is a man that's dressing like a woman. And uh, uh, what is her name again? Alexa De Demi. Like, again, I don't know a lot of these people. I just, you know, research with Google and other websites, but... She is doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra here with her hands, a gesture that's supposed to represent supreme enlightenment. It is not. It's the false light of Lucifer. The name Lucifer means light bearer. The Freemasons love him and worship him and whatever they do to him, right? They get fame, fortune, and success, but at what cost? And again, Alexa Demi is doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with her hands. I bet she's just so enlightened, right? All these jokers want to show off their signs and symbols, and they take part in pushing the Antichrist agendas. They force it down people's throats. They push it in the mainstream media, the lamestream media, and they want people to just go along with this like it's all normal, right? Except Christians that are awake to these things, not woke, 
awake, right? There's a difference. Christians that are awake understand that the world is biblical, the Bible is real, Jesus Christ is God, He died on the cross for us. That is being awake. When you're woke, you want to do everything that this world wants to do. Push the gay and trans agenda and push all these pronouns and like all this other garbage that I'm taking no part in. It is ludicrous that the world just brought it in so quickly and now is conforming to it so much. I kind of rant on these videos. Why? Because there's a lot to talk about. So a famous singer and actress is doing one-eye symbolism using a tarot card, right? Double whammy. No one should use tarot cards. It's occult magic garbage. She's doing one-eye symbolism here, the slam dunk with covering half her face. More one-eye symbolism, very clear. Freemason checkerboard, Freemason checkerboard, Uttara Bodhi Mudra, Uttara Bodhi Mudra. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, another day in this biblical world, we're closer to redemption Stay strong in the truth of Jesus Christ, our Lord, God, and Savior. There's a lot of weirdos out in the YouTube comments. There's a lot of people that don't like Christians, and some of them don't even know why they don't like Christians, because they love lies and hate the truth. They prefer lies, they're comfortable, and they suit their needs and their sins and whatever, instead of living for God, which can be hard at first, but the more you love God, the more you understand the truth of the world, you will want to serve God. You will want to be a good and faithful servant. These are things that I want. I am not a perfect person getting on a soapbox talking about these things. I can't help it that these people do these stupid signs and symbols and push the Antichrist agendas, but I can point it out because it's Antichrist and people should turn away and expose it. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.